and welcome to another episode of the Clever Dev. Today we are going to look specifically at menu items within the Material UI menu. So you can see I've added a link to this one. These have a selected state applied and some styling with it. And then this one, this menu item here is disabled. So we're going to dive into this, look at the on-click with TypeScript. If you want to learn about these things, then stick around. I've stripped off the styling for the link and the selected and disabled styling. And so now when we click, nothing exciting happens. So let's dive into the code and see what we need to do to apply and uh, use the props. So I have a lot of default uh, code already, or I say default, but like scaffolding, I'll say. Code that's necessary, but it's not really the focus of this video. So just a quick overview of that. As you can see, I had a button, uh, you know, from the intro, I had a button menu pops out when the button's clicked and there are four menu items in it. And so that pop-up is actually handled by this pop-up state component. And these are all MUI components here. So um, I will include a link to all of this code in the video details if you want it. But for this video, I'm just gonna focus on the actual menu items we care about and the functionality we care about with them. So the first thing that we wanna do is add a link to this menu item here. So there are three props that I'll add. Two of them are required. The first is component, and that will be link. The next is the href value of the location we want to go to, and the final is the target value. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so interesting. It works, but it doesn't look styled appropriately. Not like we'd expect for a link. So we just have to go in here and add that. So let's get some text decoration. Underline, can't forget our comma. And then um, we can say color, just say primary.main, because that's pretty close to the blue that we might expect in a link. So sometimes it doesn't keep up. I do have that comma, but let's refresh that. And here we go. Good job, Chrome, you got it. All right, so as we expect, we see this, um, this styling here, so great. So the next thing that I want to look at is the selected state. Now, interestingly, the selected state, um, there's a prop that um, we can add, just selected the which I'll actually just leave at that for the moment, selected, true. So now you can see that it's got that default selected styling. However, I, I click on these and they're not remembering that I'm selecting them. So even that one I click and it's not like deselecting or anything. So that kind of, that brings up an interesting problem or challenge. Um, if you're using these menu items as maybe like options or things that need to be able to be selected and deselected, then we actually have to handle that manually. And it's actually kind of tedious. So up here, I have a use state const. And um, what I've done is I've typed it as a number array. And in this click handler, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to manually control um, whether certain indexes of those menu items are in the selected list. So um, with that, then I'll dive into that. And it's a little bit ugly in that um, I actually had to manually pass in indexes. So you can see that here, I have this on click and selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that up here. Now there's just not really a good way to get the index value from the click. Um, so that's why I pass it in like this. I was hoping that, okay, maybe on the menu itself up here, I can add an on click or a click handler and it would be aware of the index of the menu item clicked. That's just not the case. The only, um, well, I'll go ahead and add this on click before I forget to. And I'll mention one maybe slightly better way, but it's not always an option or else I'd have done it. So get that and we'll click zero. So this is the zeroth item. And is it selected? Well, we only know that if it's in our selected list. 
literally if our selected list includes that index. Kind of sad. So we have, um, I've, I have not created an array that contains the text for each one of these, but if I had done that, then I could have rendered these menu items from this array. Uh, and then I could have used the array index, you know, like uh, array.map. I could have used that map in the index value and passed that in here. Would have been just a little bit cleaner. Um, not sure why this one's complaining. I probably have a typo in it. So anyway, oh, it's because I've got my selected boolean still up here. So there we go. Clean that up a little bit. So anyway, since I didn't do that this time, I just put the text directly in here then I just have to manually pass in the index. So kind of ugly, but um, not really a great way around it. So anyway, let's actually focus on this click handler now, and we will add the code there that we need. So we're gonna start with, uh, we, need, we have two scenarios, either the selected list, um, let's say includes the index that was just passed in, and in that case, what do we need to do? We need to um, create a new selected list and we have to actually filter out the value we don't want. So that value we don't want is simply if value is not equal to the index. And let's see. So there's kind of step one of our handler here. And the else is set selected list. And here we can just add um, the new value to our selected list. So just to reiterate, if the selected list includes the index of the menu item that we just clicked, we have to create a new selected list. That's just how React U state works. Um, and we're actually creating a new list that is the old list minus a value uh, and returning that as the new selected list. The alternative uh, selected list did not include that new value. We are taking the existing selected list, getting all the values out of it, and creating a new array with those values and one more value, the index, the index that was just clicked. So um, now we should be able to go here. And if I click on these, we can see there's just some default selected styling, but we can see that that's being retained. And we can actually update the styling. I'll do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that now. So we've got the functionality in there. Uh, what we need now is the actual, if we wanted to have a little bit of additional styling, um, we could just add it directly in the SX prop, um, but I'll add it up here. So let's say we only want the styling when the item is selected. And we'll just say, change the text color to green. So I've actually already, just to save some time, added this in all the SX. And we'll use this for any, uh, we'll make some disabled styling too. But anyway, with that selector, then we expect that these do not have green text unless they are selected. So that's good. And you can see I can click out, click back in, they're still selected. So that's the value and the power in making that array of selected states, uh, or that array to monitor selected state for each menu item. Now, the final thing I wanna do just real quick is show we can easily add disable, excuse me, disabled, just like selected. It's got the ED, it's past tense, disabled the same way. So now, refresh that. And why are you so slow? There we go. So now we can see that final one is disabled. So what that means is we cannot click it, cannot select it. Um, we can add disabled state 
if we wanted to uh, a style for disabled state. That'd be pretty easy to do. We can say at MUI dash disabled. And a cool thing is that these classes are just automatically applied in the DOM, and we can go look at that in a moment. Um, MUI just handles that for us. So let's say background color dark gray, probably something like that. Let's see, that's a little bit darker. So something pretty easy to do right there. Um, let's actually take a look at the DOM and I'll show you that class. But as far as styling in this video goes, uh, that's really all the functionality that I wanted to add. So we can see that this pop-up, uh, the menu is this UL here and then each item within it is either an A, like this first one we changed to a link component, or an LI, which is the default menu item. And so we can see here's that MUI disabled class right here. Um, these two are selected right here, so we can see MUI selected. I'll click on this one, you notice it lost its MUI selected state. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. Please do consider subscribing. Definitely check out the video details for links to all this code.